Over here. Okay. Uh, over here. Focus. Focus. Right, how how long how long should I talk for? <laughs> you can go. Uh, hey, I'm Sophie. I'm Henry. I'm Britta. And <laughs> I'm Eliana. Uh, hi, I'm Max. I'm Rivers. And we're going to Rwanda. everywhere. His whole family was killed here. And like 23,000 people died in this area. I feel so safe and the people are so nice and like there just must have been so many amazing people that don't get to like share themselves with the world anymore for no reason. Every time I read is more confused than telling me to choose but there's only lies to choose from and how many died today how many lost their homes or shot a gun surprised at the um, amount of love and care that people show after what many of them have been through. It's like they've been through such terrible things, but they still put their heart out there and make the best of life. And I admire that a lot because I'm not sure that I could do that if something that bad happened to me. No matter what you've seen or what you've read, actually being here is completely different. And everyone's so nice and so welcoming. I don't, I don't feel like a tourist or like a visitor. I feel like I'm, I'm welcome. When people think of Rwanda, generally all they think of is the genocide. And I don't think that's the right perception to have of it. Thank you. 